show the camera. I be stuck in my head. Think I need to escape. Feels like I'm Hey guys, this is Ikat, and we are in the middle of the woods, my favorite spot. Once a year, we rent a cabin in the woods, completely remote, no internet connection, no distraction. We're able to just really take some time to rest. But I wanted to take this time to share with you one of my favorite things, and that's gliders, gliders, cardistry trainers. And these were custom made for me. As you can see, it's a very familiar design. We have it in rainbow, so the green, the pink, which shows the colors together, the yellow, and we have the orange, looks quite nice, and obviously the red. After one month and a half of usage, dropping these, taking them to forest, to pool, now to this place, they look pristine. I really love how they're treated. The epoxy finish is really great compared to other cardistry trainers I've had. And what it does is when you want it to, you press down and you have friction, okay? So you have friction and that can help because you have then two packets stuck together. It could be a very useful feature. And then when you don't want them to be uh, stuck together, well, you just unstick them from that point and then they're loose. Store them separately, not stuck together in a box so that they don't remain in a more sticky feel. But that is the perfect kind of consistency or texture or feel you want to have when you're practicing packet cuts. And that's what I really love about this. And you get five packets, which I think is a perfect middle in order to be able to perform a lot of the cuts, 200 cuts that you really like to practice. I want to share with you two cuts that I really, really love performing with these gliders, cardistry trainers. And the first one is gonna be Blanco by Decuso. You can check out his channel on YouTube. He's not so active anymore, but that tutorial is really nice. False cut, really beautiful feel to it. And then we will close things with the corkscrew closure by Kevin Ho. I will be linking you to both of these moves because the tutorials are available right here on YouTube and they're very in depth. I really recommend checking those out before you go and watch my overview. I'm going to show you the adaptation with courtesy trainers and why it's so fun to practice with these. All right, let's do it. From mechanics grip, you're going to lift and spin into this position. So if I remove this packet, you've spun one packet right over here. Let's try this one more time. So your index starts to move, and then you can see how it goes to your, your uh, thumb, and then it goes to the ring finger, then to the middle finger, and then you are in that position. Let me show you from here. Boom. Now this way now this way and now this way and you have it clipped just like so where the middle is right there so once again your index your thumb and your ring and then your middle now you have it clipped it's so satisfying to get it to go smooth just like bother like here 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 very smooth Twirl. And it's much easier to practice this with cardistry trainers, in this case, my Fox gliders. And then the move is almost over. All you have to do is pinch this packet and you're going to do a little bit of um, just movement here in your wrist, just like this. And that's it. After you finish this move, you will realize that you're in perfect position here when you square things up to cut and move into the corkscrew closure, which is so fun to practice with the gliders. Here's the overview for the corkscrew closure. You're going to take two or three. I'm going to do this, okay. It's very difficult for me to do this slowly to remember where I'm spinning things, but as I go here, I already prepared this packet to spin, okay? So from the top, and you go like this, you feed it, and I already prepare it to spin, and I feed it again. Please go watch the detailed tutorial. It's so worth getting this. You can add this as a closure to any other move. It's really, really fun. One more time. Beautiful. Let me 
do this from here. Just like that. And you can see when I'm here, I'm pivoting using that middle finger in your back into the position. And the fun part with this move is it's completely false too. And it's just a really nice closure for a lot of your moves. It looks stunning. So I really hope you learned this one. Let's take it from the top. You've learned that Blanco goes like this, like this, like this. You do a little bit of a flare, you land here, three or two in that packet. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed these two moves. I love them and especially practicing these with my gliders. This is not sponsored by the gliders folks, but they were so nice to make this custom design for me. And it is by far my favorite car seat trainers. And I definitely recommend you have these in your life so that you have an alternative alternative texture to practice with. And uh, just this week before I came here, I filmed a commercial that utilized like plastic cards, sort of like a credit card feel, but a little bit different. And having dexterity in practice with these really helps me gauge how those other textures will react. And then you can transfer the skills and the dexterity you have into other things that you can manipulate. So cardistry is not all about cards cards in terms of cardboard it can very well be this texture guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon